Hello, hello. Mr. Felipe. Mr. Jose. All right, so can right. everyone hear me? I mean. Good evening. Yes. Good evening, Patty. Nice, I appreciate your feedback over here. Uh, let me just one sec. Okay. And um, uh, let me just uh, close this. And here we go. All right. All right, so let me ask, Jose, were you in class yesterday, by the way? I don't really remember, you know, seeing you. Yes, yes teacher. <laughs> yesterday, I am not here, basically. I okay. was in another place. So you had I another slept, business? I slept, I slept, teacher. I slept, teacher. That's why okay. I didn't enter to the class. Yeah, oh. I am so uh, internet issues, right? That's why. It's, not a problem, not a problem, Jose. Uh, yeah. Today I am here. It's okay, right? <laughs> I am ready. Nice. That's the attitude. You know, what matters is right now that you, you are able to be here. So thanks for joining us. Okay. So that's, uh, you know, all I, all I want to say right now. Okay. So uh, let's see how many participants do we have right now in this uh, meeting conversation. So Mr. Felipe Linares, Joseph Cabrero. Miss Lopez, all right, Mirna. Hello over there. Nice background you have over there, Mirna, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know, you like to be in the green, you know, and, and Jose will understand over here. And then, um, Patty, he, she said hello already. Raquel, hello over there. Angel Martinez, he's just connecting his audio right there. So I have a lot of things prepared for you. So try to stay tuned, you know, from the beginning until the end. And let's see if we enjoyed this uh, last hour. I know it's difficult for, for you to be here, but we're gonna do our best, okay? That being said, let's roll the dice, okay? And here we go. Nice, uh, so week three, Day two, section three. Remember that this section has to do with, I would say, the comparison between the simple past and the present perfect. And most of the time, you know, we use the simple past, you know, for actions that occur, of course, you know, are completed and finished and the present perfect with uh, actions that uh, are not specified. You know, we don't know if they're still, you know, happening or if they ha have happened more than one time. But I don't want you to get confused, okay? Let's take our, our attention over here. Let's try to pay attention to this right now. Remember, everyone, that we usually start with uh, an idiom, okay? And the one that I have for you tonight is this one. The word of the night is, and I'm gonna ask, uh, let's see, Patty, help us on here, please. What is the word of tonight? The one that I have ready for you. The word of the day, what is it? So I'm asking, so Patty, what is the, the, the word of, of today, of tonight? Of the, of the top of me here. All right, I appreciate that. Thank you so much. Let me ask uh, a gentleman in here. Uh, sorry about that. You know, that's my bad. This is what we saw yesterday. All right, let me ask uh, Angel. Hello, sir. Mr. Hello, Martinez. Please. Thank you, sir. So yeah. what is the, what's, what's the expression for today? What is the, the word of the date, you know, for tonight, sir? Oh, the top on oh, my hair. Yeah, could you, could you just oh. read it, you know? So I just want to hear you. I just want to hear you say it, please. No, I don't understand. 
don't don't worry about it. I mean, all I want you to do is just to read, you know, off the top of my head. That's it. You know, try to repeat, you know, off the top of my head, off the top of my head. All right. So let's let's take a look, uh, first of all, at the meaning in here. You know, what's the meaning of the idiom of the top of my head? OK, this one. Forget about this. OK, you know, let's forget about this. If I use an expression in Spanish, that would that would mean um, sin pensarlo o sin, sin mucho detenimiento. OK, lo que se me ocurre en este momento. OK, lo que se me viene, oh. lo que se me, lo que se me viene a la cabeza. All right. Oh, so bien. that's the okay. meaning of it. Or I, I can also say a grosso modo. Lo que, lo que pienso, a grosso modo. Okay. We can say that too. So please use this expression. Si, si no usado las otras palabras que hemos uh, eh, mostrado, no hay ningún problema. But this one is going to help you. Instead of saying no, cuando le preguntan algo y usted no sabe, Puede utilizar, uh, you know, off the top of my head, o yo pienso, verdad, sin mayor, o lo que se me ocurre, o lo que se me viene a la cabeza, is this. All right? So, off the top of my head. Off the top of my head. Okay? Okay. Sin, sin, sin mayor uh, cuidado. Off the top of my, or one, one's head means to say something spontaneously. All right? Without much thought or consideration as to whether one is correct. Lo dice como que se está seguro. To give a quick guess or to estimate something. Por eso dice para estimar algo, a grosso modo. All right? Like we say, okay. en el aire, verdad? Las acachas, verdad? You know, that expression <laughs> over there. And then, what is the usage, everyone? You know, como se usa? This idiom is often used to say, I don't know. Ok, prácticamente decimos no lo sé, ¿verdad? Pero yo creo, y decimos eso, off the top of my head. Ok, so we don't really use not, but we say, uh, you know, off the top of my head, I can tell you this. All right, like I can, I can ask you, eh, ¿saben si la gasolina va a subir mañana? Bueno, todos los martes es que se sube, ¿verdad? O baja. Oh, Entonces, uh, you can say off the top of my head, I think, yes, it's going to go up, or the prices are going to go up. Ok. Like, like this one, the examples of use. Do you know how much a bus toll can cost? Y les podría preguntar, uh, para el, el, el difunto o el moribundo, uh, el, el bus que ocupamos en, en, en El Salvador? How, how do you call that? Uh, el que va de Soyapango hasta... <laughs> how do you call that one? <laughs> okay, do you know how much? Uh, you know, I forgot the name, by the way. Okay, cost, you can tell me off the top of my head, I think it's 155, said John, right? Okay. Next one, if you want, if you want to run a successful business, you need to know your numbers off the top of your head. ¿Verdad? Si quieres ser buen comerciante, ¿verdad? Tiene que saberse los números, ¿verdad? O sea, de memoria prácticamente. Okay, just off the top of my head, I'd say there is a 75% chance of success. ¿Verdad? A grosso modo. Aquí es traducción literal, a grosso modo. All right? Just as, as, as the top of my head, I'd say there is a 75% chance of success. Okay? We're good with this. <coughs> Sorry about that. O sea que sustituye algo así lo que uno dice, ah, yo creería o... Ajá, creo exacto. Que, creo que. Yes, instead of saying like I think or I'm not sure or I don't know, you, you say off the top of my head. Según lo, yo, lo que yo creo, you may say that. Uh, okay, so off the top of my head, uh, I think. Uh, mm -hmm. Yes. So for example, I can ask, uh, let's see that, that Mr. David Magaña is not in class. So I may say he has something to do, right? I, so off the top of my head, I think he might be sick or something like that. So we don't know, okay? Mm -hmm. Nice, now let's let's uh, get down to business. You know, the main topic for today is the simple present versus the simple past. And right now it's 9-11. Let's see if I can just spend, let's say uh, five minutes explaining this. And then I'm gonna ask you to uh, practice in person a conversation because I think it's better if you practice, you know, this in a conversation, okay? But 
I'm gonna I'm gonna ask the help from Jose Cabrero. Mr. Job said, help us on this one, sir. Help us read, you know, the, the intro on this, this part, you know. Okay, okay. Thank you. Science, you must teach it. Yes, from there. You must, okay. Yes. You must always use the present perfect when the time of inaction is not important or not specified. You must always use the simple part when details about the time or place that an action occurred are given a request. Thank you so much. So the, the, the two keywords are, you know, present perfect, if we don't have a specific time frame, okay? And the simple past, when we have the time, you know, we have the time of the action, we know when the action happened. You know, if it happened in 1989, if it happened last night, and it's asking you, you know, a specific place or time, you know, like where, okay, or when, you know, over here. So that's the main difference. But this might be a little bit complicated, but I think with practice, you're gonna have the opportunity to understand. Another main difference is, you know, the specific structure. For the present perfect, we gotta use the auxiliary have or has, right? So we gotta use auxiliary has, have or has, okay? So for example, if you say he, I mean, you know this already, this is just a review, okay? Uh, but we're taking the time to do this, okay? If you say he, she, or, 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 or it, we say he has lived in lion, for example. And then the simple past, you gotta use a verb in past. You know, I lived, I went, I ate, I saw, I did, etc. Okay? So uh, let me ask a, a lady over here to help us read this. Mrs. Raquel Campos, would you like to help us read the examples of present perfect and the simple past, if you don't mind, please? Yeah, Raquel. All right, so can you hear me, Raquel? <clears throat> yes, yes, I can hear you. Yeah, thank you. Help me with uh, present perfect and simple past examples. Please. Okay, okay. Uh, present perfect is, I have lived in Lyon, in Lyon. They have eaten that Thai food. Mm -hmm. Have you seen hotel? We have been to Ireland and simple past is, I live in Lyon in 1989. Mm -hmm. They ate Thai food last night. Where did you see Otelo? When did you go to Ireland? Thank you so much. So I appreciate that. So just bottom line, verdad, para subrayar. Bottom line. I remember simple past is an action that just happened and we cannot change it. No podemos cambiar el pasado, okay? But the present perfect, okay, si usted no ha comido, you know, you're gonna, you're gonna have dinner after this class is over. And maybe that's the case. Algunos quizás no han cenado y van a cenar después. You see, the action, you know, is still incomplete. Well, no creo que se acueste sin comer, a menos que esté haciendo dieta. <laughs> okay. So, and that's the point over here. All right. Like, for example, you can say, I'm go I haven't washed or brushed my teeth yet. Y creo que todos nos lavamos los dientes, pero no irnos a dormir. Entonces... So that's the present perfect, you know, an action that is still has not been completed. No se ha completado, right? But in the past, we said, I just, uh, uh, I don't know, I just went to, to the uh, tiendita, the little store to buy pan francés, you know, to buy some bread. That happened all right. Okay, nice. Or, or I just drank a cup of coffee, you may say that. So that's the past. And I, but I can also tell you in the present perfect, I have drank, Okay, he bebido, I have drank, you know, coffee, by the way. Okay, or two cups, uh, a couple of coffees today. Okay, I might drink another one, you know, that's, that's why we use the present perfect. You're not okay. sleeping. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I'm not sleeping tonight. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, thank you. Now, this chart, it, it may seem a little bit complicated. Now, just 
to to give you uh, some details. I'm not going to you know go deep into the details over here. Solo le voy a mostrar la diferencia que importa. So Será just remember. Como, como decirlo de manera general sin especificar. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Por ejemplo, yo he perdido las llaves, verdad? Y no las encuentro todavía. Ese es el present perfect because the action has not been finished. No, it's not done yet. Pero si ya perdí las llaves y nunca las encontré o ya las encontré, it's finished already. Ok. And, and that's the way it is. And that's the way it is. Ok. So that's why we have present perfect. It's an unfinished action. Ok. Most of the cases. But also that the present perfect is used for actions that happen more than once. Puede ser por una acción que ha pasado muchas veces. Yo he perdido las llaves dos, tres veces. Me he quedado afuera de la casa, ¿verdad? <laughs> ok. <laughs> ok, more than once. That may happen too. Ok, you've been locked up. You know, locked out over there. Ok, and I can also say, the best example, pupusas. You know, how many times do you eat pupusas during the week? Can, can somebody tell me? At least. ¿Cuántas veces come pupusas, digamos? a la semana, si me puede decir. Antes muchos. Ah, vea, hoy ya no, tratamos de cuidarnos. Sí. <laughs> But sometimes it's too late, you know, demasiado tarde. Sí. <laughs> okay, but if I tell you, you know, I ate pupusas yesterday. I mean, that's not the case, right? And I, I ate pupusas today for breakfast, you know. So I can tell you, I have eaten pupusas mm -hmm. two times during this week. You, you know, there's a still the possibility that, you know, I, you know, I might, podría, you know, I might eat pupusas tomorrow. Because, you know, me cuido. <laughs> okay. So that's the present perfect. You see the point over there? Entonces, we got to be careful in there. So finish actions in there. Okay. Finish action. And just look for the specific, you know, keywords like okay. simple pass. You know, simple past. Also, you have, uh, you know, yesterday over here. Okay, last simple, week. Simple, simple, uh, simple past sería, I eat pupusas dos times a week, por ejemplo. Uh, si comió dos veces, pero si dice last week, you gotta say last week. Okay. Last week. Pero uh, si ha comido dos veces y piensa comer o puede, o la semana no se ha acabado, you can say, I have, he comido, I have. Okay, or I, or I eaten, you know, I have eaten pupusas two times during the week and I'm going to eat on Saturday. Entonces, si comió el lunes, el martes, you know, Monday, Tuesday, and then you're going to eat pupusas on Saturday. In the end, you, you can say, uh, uh, I ate pupusas three weeks and uh, three times during this week. Okay? All right. Si la puerta todavía está abierta, that might be the present perfect. If, if the door is still open. Okay, that's all I can say over here. But let's let's get to practice. Okay, I think you're going to understand this with this. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and, and uh, practice this conversation. Okay, and first of all, please listen to the audio. Listen to the audio and get familiar with the pronunciation. You know, underline uh, words that you know that are difficult for you to pronounce or that are, uh, are uh, I don't know, new for you, or something like that. Or just, you may underline the structure of the present perfect. So, and that's the idea in this class for you to practice. So let me just go ahead. Let me just go ahead and send to you the uh, first uh, material for you to practice this, okay? I'm gonna, I'm going to send this to the uh, meeting, uh, I'm sorry, to the personal chat, and then to the other one. It's 9.21, so it's, it's good timing, you know. Preguntas en este momento, yo creo que me van a hacer las preguntas cuando ya estén practicando, okay? Are we good right now? All right, so can somebody tell me if you got the message delivered? Did you get it, everyone? Yeah, did you did you get the message, the one that I just sent to you? Yes, teacher. All right, appreciate your feedback. Appreciate that. 
All right, so since you're only eight participants, you're gonna be practicing uh, uh, in purse. So we have David with Mirna, Angel with Patricia, Felipe with Raquel, Jose with Noria. Let's go ahead, please. Listen to the conversation first, please, individually, and then uh, practice with your classmates. It's a conversation between a man and a woman, so you, you may switch the roles. You, you be the woman and then the man. Mm -hmm. There you go. All right, so Mr. Angel just joined in here. All right, so uh, Angel and Patricia, uh, join the breaker room, please. Uh, Felipe, uh, join, please. And uh, also, um, yeah, uh, Felipe, Raquel is waiting for you, you know. <laughs> there we go. So, Patricia, I think. All right, so I'm going to open. Hello, Angel, Mr. Rodrigo. Do you I'm know sorry. what do you know what to do right now? I'm sorry, by the way, not a problem. Okay. Uh, no, I'm asking. I'm asking you. Do you know what to do right now? Si sabe lo que estamos haciendo ahorita, perdón. Or not. Yeah, do you know what to do right now, sir? The person. Now, right now, you're supposed to practice a conversation. Mandé un, un material al, al chat de WhatsApp. Necesito que lo abra, que escuche la conversación, mm -hmm. and then to practice the conversation with an Angel, please. So Angel is gonna practice with you. He's gonna wait for you, okay? Okay. Thank you. So uh, I'm going to ask. So, Angel, are you still here, sir? All right. So if he doesn't come back, I'm going to practice with you, Rodrigo. Okay. But you have to listen to the conversation, please. Okay. Yes, Patty, how may I help you? Estoy solita. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. Um, the things that you were assigned with uh, Angel and he didn't join, so that's the problem over there. But, uh, you know, I'm going to send to you another uh, volunteer in here. And let's see. But, well, okay, let's practice right now, okay? But let me just send someone. No, 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 not a problem. No, I'm going to send someone. I was just looking for the break. I was looking for the number of the... the, the uh, Es el que usted está practicando acá de room, ok. Usted es el número. Es? Entonces, le voy a mandar acá, sign to. Uh, no, uh -huh. There you go. Vamos a ver si se une, Rodrigo. All right, so in the meantime, let's go ahead and practice. You're going to be the woman, I'll be the man on conversation number one, but then you can be the man and then I'll be the woman. So, has Bob arrived yet? Yes. Yeah, let's practice this. It's a conversation. Ah. Okay. Has Bob arrived, arrived yet? Yes, but in this case, Patty, I'm going to be the man, and then you're going to be the woman, okay? Mm -hmm. So uh, I'm go let me start over, okay? So has Bob arrived yet? Arrived yet. No, he hasn't gotten here yet. Here yet. Okay. Here yet. Has anyone tried to call him? I don't think anyone has, has. Maybe he has overslept. Or maybe he's for forgotten. <laughs> forgotten. 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 There is a meeting. There's a meeting. Nice. <laughs> you know, overslept me parece sinónimo que se ha quedado dormido porque I don't know. Muy cansado. We never know, right? <laughs> Okay, conversation number two. But permitan, creo que alguien escribió por acá. An assigned angel. Bah, por lo menos no, no han sido asignados, pero están dos ahí, entonces no están solitos. <laughs> okay, so 
en esta conversación usted va a ser el hombre and I'm going to be the woman, ¿ok? Have you sent the report? Hello. No, I haven't. Hello. Hello. Now you, we have a visitor over here. We have a guest. Rodrigo. 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 Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, so uh, keep on practicing with Patricia, please. Uh, conversation number okay. two. Okay. But sí, sí. Uh, do you have the conversation in your cell phone or your computer? Right? Because I got to go, you know, visit some, some other rooms. Tiene que tener la conversación ya lista para practicar, por favor. Ah, uh, ok. Ahorita. Ya. Yeah. Vaya, vaya, ya. Ahí estamos. So. Has been too hot to wear it. Ok. Hoy cambiemos. El... <laughs> yeah, but David, you know, David, David is not very happy, you know. <laughs> <laughs> ya cambiamos. <laughs> Bello. <laughs> nice. All right. Now I'm gonna I'm gonna practice with you. So let's see. I'm gonna practice with Mirna conversation number one, and then with you, David, conversation number two. Okay. So Mirna, uh, Mirna, has Bob arrived yet? Mm, no, uh, no. La primera conversación. You know, has ah, Bob arrived yet? Toda la voy a hacer yo toda la conversación. Yo voy a ser vamos a ir. We're be the one. We're gonna uh -huh. be, yeah, playing just like that. Okay. Yes. Conversation number one. Okay. Has Bob arrived has yet? Bob, has Bob arrived yet? Uh, sola, le interrumpo un momento, perdón. Este, okay. Yo voy a hacer el papel del, del muchacho y usted va a ser eh, la señorita. Ah, yeah. ok. Ok. So, so, has Bob arrived yet? No, he has gotten here yet. Has anyone tried to call him? I don't think anyone has. Maybe he has overslept. Or maybe he's forgot there is meeting. Thank you so much. Mr. David Magaña, in la primera uh, conversation, I think, Overslept me parece sinónimo de hangover, you know, overslept. Ahí se quedó dormido, you know. <laughs> but you think so, sir. <laughs> yeah. Y si es lunes, ¿verdad? En la mañana. Okay. <laughs> yeah. No names, you know, no uh, names. Sin mencionar nombres. That, okay. that is, that is uh, all time. Uh, okay, Mr. Magaña, you're going to be the man. On, on conversation too, please. You're the man now. Okay. Have you, have you sent the report? No, I haven't. Why haven't you finished? I haven't had time to check the spelling. Have you finished writing it? Yes, I have. You know, almost done. Nice. Uh, you finished practicing everything, right? Mirna y, 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 y Mr. Uh, Magaña uh, ya practicaron, ¿verdad? Revés y derecho, si podríamos decirle así. <laughs> Right, so man and woman, right? You switch and everything, yes? Intercambiaron uh, los roles. No, you no, no, no. Okay, so try to switch. And I'm gonna give you 60 seconds. Uh, voy a, a, a cerrar los, los, los uh, I would say, uh, the rooms, but then you still have 60 seconds, okay? Okay. Aunque les aparezca el mensaje de que, tienen, que se puede, deben salir, you still have 60 seconds, all right? So, mm -hmm. see you. Sorry about that. Angel, Angel, Mr. Martinez and Mr. Giovanni, can you hear me? Can you hear me, everyone? Hi, teacher. Thank you. Hello, sir. Uh, did you practice the conversation, uh, Mr. Giovanni? Estoy entrando, teacher. Vaya, no se preocupe. Estamos practicando una conversación. De hecho, ahí está el enlace en el chat, si lo puede ver. Y también está en, en el chat de WhatsApp. Vea. All right. So, Mr. Jose Cabrero, how was the practice, sir? You know, too, too short or too slow or, you know, you no, want to practice? Too long, too long. Is it too, too long, sir? Because the both right with... Es que ver, 
in me, uh, hear the audio. I'm talking about some things about the audio, right? Uh, of course, with so a long time, right? Yeah, a long time. You know, but you know, this is this is nothing comparable for what's coming right now. But you're gonna have the chance to be in groups of three. Okay, it's like I would say it's like like a quiz, but it's not really a quiz because if you do it in, in groups, you know, it doesn't really matter. Now there comes the time right now, ladies and gentlemen, for you to uh, put in practice, you know, what you know about the the present perfect and the simple past. Let me just tell you something. I'm gonna help you over here. If he has a specific expression just like this, is the simple past. If you're not sure if the action is still uh, happening or has not been completed, that's a present perfect. Like in this case, you know that this is the simple past because you're talking about last year, okay? And uh, one more thing. If you see the words for, okay, if you see the words for or the words since, Jose, you, you mentioned this today, you know, since, okay? Yes. And so that's the person perfect. I can say I have been in this class for 30 minutes already. You see what I mean? Because the, act, the class is still, you know, going on. And you can use this as an example. You know, do you know what I mean in here, boy? Sure. Uh, yeah. Okay, I appreciate your feedback. And you see this one, it says, uh, if, if it's something that happened when you were in school, and it says that he didn't like it, of course, you know that this is making reference to the past. Okay, and et cetera, et cetera. So right now I'm going to send to you this second material. And I'm going to split you, lo voy a dividir, I'm going to split you up in groups of three. You have the option to complete this individually, o sea, solos, or you can do it in groups of three. It's up to you. Si usted quiere trabajar solito, póngase en silencio y contéstelo, and then try to complete it. All right? But, uh, okay, so uh, let me just one second. Let me uh, look for the specific... Uh, a material and share it with you. And as usually, everyone, uh, I would say quiz practice. Okay, quiz practice. The material is going to be available, va a estar disponible on both platforms. You know, the personal chat and the meeting chat. Did you get it, by the way? Did you get it? Yes? Yes. Thank you. Um, so I'm going to uh, send you to, to practice in groups of three, okay, if that's okay with you. Um, but allow, allow me just one second over here. So Teacher, a uh, question. Go ahead. Um, en, en las respuestas cuenta cuenta mucho el acento. Por ejemplo, perdí. Si no le pongo el, el acento, eh, me, ¿me cambia o no me cambia la, la escritura? El, el acento se refiere a la fuerza de voz. Sí, oh. eh, el apóstrofe ese que se... En el caso de perdí, por ejemplo, puedo poner perdí solo la I con el puntito o con el acento. Dios. La tilde. La tilde, perdón, sí. Los niños mm. me de hecho, sí, pero bueno, en español sí, ¿verdad? En español tiene que ponerle perdió, ¿verdad? Con tilde, o en la, en la o, ¿verdad? Porque, pero en inglés no. Pero en inglés no, en inglés no hay tildes, de hecho, al menos que la palabra sea de otro idioma y sea, pero eso es complicado. Ajá, eh, está okay. de acuerdo. Ok, <laughs> yes. But in English we don't do that. We just use the verb if it's in past, lost. Si es en presente perfecto, acuérdese que tiene que utilizar el have. Like, I have, you have. Si es ella o él, has. He, he has and she has, ¿verdad? And so, and that's what you're supposed to do. Pero yo le puedo ayudar en, 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 lo, en los uh, espacios que, que los he puesto a trabajar. Okay? Eh, let me just one second over here. 
And there we go. All right. So Mr. Joseph is with Mirna and Raquel, and then Giovanni is with Noria Rodrigo, and then David is with Felipe, and then Angel is with Patricia. Tratemos de unirnos, y si no pueden, me avisan. Para que, para, yes, sir. Eh, mencionó de que lo podía hacer solo. Sí, usted puede estar en grupo, su compañero puede estar ahí, ¿verdad? Pero usted completo y después solo compare, you know, just compare what you have. Ok. Sí. All right. Thank you. But, you know, still, you know, aún, you know, you still need to join, you know, the uh, rooms in there. Okay, just to uh, see if somebody can help you. All right, that's great. Let's see what time it is, 8.9.38. And um, we go break a room. And let me go here, yes. Sí. Yo por la primera, bueno, he empezado, pero la primera entiendo yo que es... Hmm, la primera, eh, the first, the first is lost. Lost, ajá. Lost. Ah, lost. sí, es cierto, ajá. sí es cierto. Lost, ah, sé, sé yo. La, la otra no sé porque es la misma, esa es mi complicación. Es que la, en la esta, diferencia. la diferencia en la otra es que este es el, el, prese, el present Sí, pero mm, a, a mí, ahí, ahí se utiliza el hub. Sí, pero y, tenés que tener cuidado, tenés que tener cuidado porque a veces se cambia. No. Ajá, sí, pero el, ejemplo, el, el verbo no cambia en este caso, supongo yo, no sé sí, qué. Pero es. hay verbos irregulares y hay verbos regulares, uno solo se les añade de ellos, pues se cambia. ¿no? Ahí es donde yo te digo, hay que saber qué es eso, no solo si solo es cinco pasos, pero si es bueno, así lo entendí al teacher, man. no sé, ahí ustedes. Yeah, hello, sir. <laughs> yeah, I'm over here, sir. Yeah. Yeah, not yeah. a problem. No, I mean, let me say this in English, by the way. The thing is that, uh, lo voy a hacer en la presentación, permítanme, voy a modificar en realidad la presentación y lo voy a hacer con ustedes aquí presente. Um, let me just one second over here. And there we go. Uh, yeah, I'm going to open a new page over here so I, I can actually show you what to do in here. So just one second. Here. But, you know, my, my advice, everyone, is to try to keep it, you know, simple. You know, so just try to keep it simple. Quiero ver. Perdón, no era esta. Esta es la que quiero cambiar. There we go. All right, so just one second. There we go. All right, so let me just, uh, you know, mute your microphone just for a second, and then you, if you like, you can just listen to me. Now let's take a look at this one. In the in the present perfect, you gotta be careful, you know, a little bit. But uh, you got to believe that it's for an action that it's still incomplete, okay? Like in the example over there, you know, I, I lost the keys last night. You know, I have to call somebody to help me, you know, get into my house. So we understand that the action already happened. But if the action, if you are not sure if it's already completed or not, you got to, you know, stop to think a little bit. Entonces tiene que ver is have you know if you say you they we and i you gotta say have okay and if you say he all right he uh she and it verdad como it's 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 been raining you can say that you gotta use has but this is just grammar now if we talk about sorry about that if we talk about uh, the, uh, el verbo, el verbo have solo es un auxiliar, o sea, solo es un adorno que necesitamos utilizar. Okay, but el, este verbo se llama past participle. But this is just grammar, you know, I'm not supposed to be explaining this to you. Uh, so the past participle, como el ado o el ido, he comido, he vivido, he visitado. For example, that's in Spanish. Entonces, if you have the verb, like Jose was saying, 
Algunos son regulares e irregulares, but it doesn't really matter because si usted tiene el verbo eat y se está refiriendo al presente perfecto, el presente perfecto de este verbo es eaten. Ok, we know that the past of eaten, el pasado es ate y no va a ocupar este. Ok, you're going to use eaten. All right. And then if you have, let's say, visit, verdad, no, no he visitado a mi abuela por la pandemia, you have visit, visited. The best you can do is aprenderse los, los verbos just de memoria. Los que usted se vaya aprendiendo y vaya viendo, mírelos. Y si usted sabe que se le agrega de o ed, just, you just gotta do it. Lo fácil de los verbos regulares es que el mismo tiempo, in past, in past participle, which is this one, es el mismo verbo, o sea, no cambia. O sea, que yo puedo decir, I visited my uh, girlfriend yesterday night, or you can also say, I have visited my girlfriend two times this week. Y si gusta, se quitan el, el silencio y me preguntan, o les puedo explicar un poquito más. Eh, en la, hay una que, que, que es la número cuatro. All right, let me just take a look at this very quickly. Eso es lo que me voy a meter, Pepe. Okay. Eh, eh, okay. Creo que ahí es en pasado porque es, dice last year I visit. Um, yo, ¿verdad que cuando es, se usa last? ¿Tengo que poner el verbo en presente o en pasado? No me acuerdo. No, el, la clave es last, que significa uh, el día de ayer, digamos. So, last week, la semana pasada. Eh, last year, el año pasado. O sea, el last significa el último o el pasado. Okay. Ajá, entonces yo, yo puse last year I visited Paris. That's correct. That's correct. Pero, ajá, lo verifiqué acá y me sale que es incorrecto. Le sale incorrecto. Ajá. No, a veces los WhatsApps están mal, pero pero es, es este visited. You know? uh, okay. La número cuatro. That's the one uh -huh. you checked. I visited. Ok. Last I year I visited. Check. No, está correcta. Y lo que pasa es que yo no le puedo compartir la, la pantalla, pero... Pero ajá, sí, ajá. Que, que, que quizás no lo puso en pasado, no lo puso LED o le dio un espacio más o algo. Pero yes, it's sí, es visited. Pero, ajá, va, entonces yo puse last year I visited Paris. Porque yes. la clave ahí es last, ¿verdad? That's correct. Ok, yes. nada más. All right, let's see. Uh, what about, I'm going to ask uh, Mirna, what about number six? He says, uh, no, Julie, for three years. You know, let's forget about the grammar. Let's let's forget if it's a uh, uh, regular or irregular. You know that this verb has two different forms. You have no, no, and none. None, right? It's, it's uh, irregular. No. Yeah, correct. Uh, but how would you write that sentence? You know, numbers number uh, six, eh, Mirna, number six. Uh -huh. I. Uh huh. I have. Uh huh. I have. No. No. I have none. The none. No. Así como se escucha, verdad? None. Uh -huh. And this uh -huh. verb, what we do, you know, for the past participle, none. So le agregamos una. N. 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 Okay. Y un consejo que les puedo dar, cuando hablen, contracten las cosas, ¿verdad? O omitamos el have, pero cuando hablemos. Pero ya sabemos que es el present perfect. We say, I've known Julie for three years. We still meet once a, week, uh, once a month. And that's why sometimes we don't understand native speakers because they, they tend to uh, connect everything and contract everything. All right? I ain't no time, you know, I got no time. You know, people say that. It, it don't matter, you know? So that's corto. why. Todo yes. Correct, correct. So that that's why you know you, you know yes. So that would be great at least if you don't use that, uh, it's gonna help you to sound more uh, natural. So try to finish this. I'm gonna give you let's say one more minute because somebody's. Como como lo enviamos.
Excuse me. <risa> ¿Cómo lo enviamos? Uh, al... eh, o sea, me lo va a mandar a mí, dice, se refiere. ¿O cómo, o cómo es? ¿Cómo, que, ¿Cómo es que no entendí si lo mandábamos? O... En realidad no, esto solamente es práctica. Aquí puede revisar ah. usted si sus respuestas están correctas, de hecho. Vea, ah. el, el, en el mismo sistema. Y si usted gusta, me las puede mandar y yo le digo, ok, este digo que está bien, pero por el mismo website, usted, you can actually check it for yourself. Ya se fijó que tiene ah, ahí. Cierto. Hubiera de hecho Trump. De hecho, no se los <risa> mencioné por eso mismo. <risa> Vaya, okay. te lo mando para que me lo revise en foto. Yeah, that's okay. <risa> Entonces, y si usted se fija, ahí hay 20 oraciones, pero es demasiado. Entonces, solamente les puse esas 10. Ok. Ajá. <risa> yo, okay. Yo, seguí, yo seguí, como lo mandó al correo, las hice todas. <risa> ok. Vaya, yeah. aquí voy, lo mando. Nice, thanks. All right, let's see uh, what time is it. Let's, let's, you know, let's get back to the main session, please. Okay. A picture? Yeah, take a picture and regresamos a la, a la sesión principal. Yes, bye. Thank you. Mr. Joseph, like they say in the States, right? Like, ain't nobody got time for that. You know, that's a very common expression, you know, contraction. Yeah. Nice. Um, now let's move forward. Let's try to forget, you know, this uh, quiz, you know, for a second. Of course, you know, you are able to see the responses. Uh, I don't know if you, if you have noticed, but on the on the page, you know, if you look closely on the uh, hand right corner of your screen, on this part, you're gonna be able to see, you know, show the responses or to check the results. If I were you, I would just check if it's correct or not. And if it's wrong, you know, try to do it again. And if you still, you don't get it, you know, keep on insisting and then show the responses over there, okay? Nice. I'm going to uh, go ahead right now and send to you the second uh, conversation that you're, you're supposed to practice for today. ¿Verdad? Practiquemos un poquito mejor la conversación. Okay, let's forget about the grammar right now. Yes? Yes. All right. Okay. Thank you. Yes. Okay, so I'm going to send to you. Uh, Patty sent his, you know, her responses to me. I appreciate that. Also, let's see who else. Okay. Nice. Experiences. Right now, let's talk about experiences. You know, that's another way, you know, to use the... The, uh, the present... fitness. Yes. Experiences. Okay. The fit experience. Yes. <laughs> Correct. You never forget that, right, sir? <laughs> yeah. I know what you mean. I know what you mean. I know what you mean. <laughs> yeah. No, you remember it very well. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. The, the love of your life, you know. That's what you mean. <laughs> the violin. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Um, <laughs> um. <laughs> now, did you get did you get the message on, on the chat? By the, the way, smile, the smile is healthy. Cuéntelo. <laughs> <laughs> Cuéntenlo en español para reírnos. <laughs> nice. Yeah, you're right. Tienes razón. <laughs> no, sí. Es para mayores de 18 años. Ah, bueno. <laughs> Ajá. Está ready, you know, R, you know. Está bien. <laughs> okay, so let's try to practice this. Since we are 10 right now in the meeting, um... Let's try to practice the conversation, okay? Um, let me just is, is split this. Let me just one second. Let's see, 10 participants. Nice. This is the last activity we have for, for tonight, all right? So, and then we have Jose, Jose with Rodrigo, uh, Giovanni with Mirna, Noria with Patricia, Angel with Felipe, and then David with Raquel, all right? So enjoy this last minutes of the class, please. Okay. Uh, 
Like we say in, in, my, in my city, como decimos en mi ciudad, el último tesón. <laughs> okay. All right, Mr. Giovanni, sir. Nice, I appreciate your join over there. I'm gonna join this, yes. Many times. Where have you been? I have been to Japan, Korea, and China. Have you been to Indonesia? No, I haven't. No, I haven't been there yet. No, I haven't been there yet. Okay. Conversation number two. Have you ever eaten Japanese food? I have. I have eaten lots of Japanese food. What food have you eaten? I've eaten sushi, ramen, and yakisoba. Have you tried that? Too? No, I haven't, but I hear it's disgusting. <laughs> Conversation number three. Mm -hmm. Have you seen the new Star Wars movie? Yes, I have seen them all. Have you seen all the Spider-Man movies? Japanese food? What food have you eaten? A, B, A, T. Eating sushi, ramen, and jerky soap, soba. <laughs> yeah, How did you try right. that? <laughs> no, I haven't. But uh, I be here, it is disgusting. But I heard it's disgusting. You know, I heard it's disgusting. Okay. Okay. All right. Conversation three, please continue. Have you seen the new Star Wars movie? Yes, I have seen them all. Have you seen all the Spider-Man movies? No, I haven't. I have you? Yes. Yes, I have seen them all except the latest one. All right. Oh, I be see that one. It's good. So for and after we switch, I am the woman in the room. <laughs> How you try the new coffee? I have you three <laughs> the new coffee? No, no, no. But uh, Jose is asking right now. So Rodrigo, you, you should answer. You know, he's asking, have you tried the new cafe? Uh, cafe. Cafe means Jose like the cafeteria, you know, not the actual drink. Okay. But you, you see my point over here, Jose? Yeah, no, I haven't, I haven't had time, have you? <laughs> have you? The last one. Oh, I seen that one. It's good. All right. Conversation four. Did you treat, try, treat, try, or try, try, try. Have you, have you tried? Did you try the new coffee? Cafe, no. in this case, uh, yeah, I'm sorry, cafe. Cafe. Did you cafeteria. try the new cafe? Or the cafe? Excuse me? What cafe and no coffee? Vaya, lo que pasa aquí que el café se está refiriendo a la al cafetería, lugar. al lugar, la cafetería. Entonces, en realidad no le está diciendo si, si ha... Se ha tomado. Está diciendo si usted ha ido, si ha visitado, eso lo está diciendo. Ajá, entonces, right. si le dijera, ¿Have you tried you the, try new, the coffee? new coffee? Oh, okay. Exactly, exactly. ¿Have you tried the new café? No. I have... 
I am a head tie have you? I heard it is really nice, but I be only been to once. I heard it is really nice. I heard this. It is. They be a nice job. Yeah, they have a nice job. Thank you. Now, as you can see here, uh, Giovanni, that's why the man replies. He says, I have, it's really nice, but I've only been there once. So that's why he's talking about here, you know, this cafe. Uh -huh. The cafeteria, if you say cafeteria, that's why it's called cafeteria. cafeteria you know? Yeah, uh -huh. but a, a very informal way to, to say cafeteria is cafe, you know, cafeteria. Esta palabra es francesa, de hecho, por eso que se escribe así. Con tilde. Ah, vaya. Okay, yes. El inglés, okay. una palabra, you know, an original English uh, word does not have any accent. No tiene tilde. It doesn't have anything. Okay. Sí, sí. Okay. Okay. And that's the way it is. Now, we got to come back to the main station because this class is almost over. And I need to give an announcement. Yes, sir? Yes. Thank you. So, let's come back, please, to the main station. No. Hello, hello. Hello, hello, hello. Hello. Yeah, uh, yeah I'm, I'm still here. Yeah. Do you have any questions for me about these topics or? Tell me, tell me, tell me. Tell me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, thank you. That's a good one. That's a good one, sir. No, it's the kit, right? Yeah. El Ya va a salir el gallo. Ya va a salir ahí. Nice. Okay, so the class is pretty much over, but I still need to tell you something. Let me just one second. Vamos a visitar la página, verdad, de nuestros patrocinadores, o sea, inglés corporativo. Okay. So just just one second over here. Um, the pet. Yeah, hola, hola. Yes. La tía ya. Ya lo hicimos. Gracias a Dios lo logramos. Este. Let me just one second. Este volado, I'm sleepy. Yeah. yeah. I'm sleepy. Yeah. You're you're sleepy, right? Okay. Yeah. But yeah. Here we go. Just to mention everyone that uh, to. I mean, this week we're supposed to start section four out of this website. Um, and this one, that's why we're talking about the present perfect and the simple past. As you can see here, it says simple past and present perfect. Okay, you thank know, you, teacher. You're welcome. So my, my objective or my intention is to help you, you know, practice this. At the time you complete the exercises in the platform, they're going to be a piece of cake, you know? Van a ser fácil. You know? Okay. okay. And that's the idea. Thanks, teacher. Yes. So I just got to say thank you. See you tomorrow. Y descanso. You know, have a great night. All right? Buen okay. Class end. Igualmente, gracias. Thank you. Yeah, you have a question. Go ahead, David. Well, what is the present perfect of, of the no? No, you say no. non, non, con una N al final, con N al final. Non. Non, yes. Oh, okay. No, no, no. You're welcome, sir. You say no, no. I just sent you over there. So have a great night. See you tomorrow, you know. Primero Dios. Tomorrow. So see you.